Hello and welcome to AKBOT Studio introduction video. AKBOT Studio is one of the three components of the AKBOT suite. AKBOT Studio is an RPA designing tool that provides a variety of powerful activities and supporting interactivities with various applications. From opening web browsers to reading Excel files to model almost all business processes within one organization, from simple to complex. AKBot Studio offers you a blank canvas to start working on your automation project from scratch as well as built-in processes templates for certain business domains such as retail, IT or banking, making it much faster to start your automation. When you open AKBot Studio, you will see the Start tab where you can choose to either start a new workflow or select a recently opened project. You can create a workflow from a totally blank canvas or make use of our general business process. You can also open a project saved from your computer by clicking the open tab on the left navigation panel. Right under is the options tab which allows you to make change to the settings in AKBot Studio depending on your preference. You can change the display language, the autosave configuration, as well as the execution and debug settings. You can also check the product version, edition and other details about AKBot Studio in the About tab. Let's start creating a new project. Please fill in the name for the project, specify the location of the project and fill in any description you might have. Then hit Create. You are now in the main interface of AKBot Studio. There are five main components to this interface. The menu panel, the designer panel, the toolbox, the project panel, and the properties panel. Let's go over the features of the main interface one by one. First of all, you can see the menu panel with all the functionalities you can use to operate on the script file. You can hide or show them by clicking the arrow icon on the top right of the menu. The menu is quite straightforward. You can create a new workflow or save your current progress. You can also perform test run, debug, insert breakpoint or delay the workflow. Other tools are also useful in removing unused variable or helping you manage the project via the search option. You can also interact with other UI elements with screen scraping, check out logs, publish your workflow to AKBot Agent or AKBot Center. Again, tools can be shown or hidden based on your preference. In the middle of the interface is the designer panel or the workflow designer. It allows you to have a visual view of your workflow as well as configuring the variables and values inside the activities to prompt their automation actions. On the left of the screen, you can see the AKBOT Studio Toolbox where all available activities are located and can be added to your automation project. The activities are grouped into different categories such as Excel, XML, Control Flow, Primitives, Core, HTTP. You can select a desired activity by searching its name and drag and drop it to this workspace and start creating your first workflow. Right under the toolbox is the Project Explorer, where you can find the hierarchy of open projects and all the files within each one. When you click on the activities on the main designing screen, you will see the Properties panel on the right side of the screen. Here, you can change the value of each property parameters and settings of the activities. The changes will be automatically saved focusing out. Another component you should know is the output panel, which is located on the bottom of the interface, where you can check the output of your workflow. Now that you are familiar with AKBOT Studio, you are ready to kickstart your automation journey. Thanks for watching.